Behold, the Geiger counter. But where did it come from? Meet Hans Geiger, born in Germany in 1882. Born the son of a professor, Hans was one of five children. His father studied Indian and Iranian languages, but Hans had a more scientific bent to his genius. In 1902, he began studying math and physics at the University of Erlangen. When he traveled to the University of Manchester, Geiger assisted the famous physicist Ernest Rutherford. Together, the men built machines that could count alpha particles, and these are considered the first Geiger counters. Here's how it works. The front of the original Geiger counter has a metal cylinder filled with an inert gas. This tube has a small window at the end. A slender wire runs down the middle of the tube. Electronic components in the box produce a high voltage that charges the wire, creating an electric field between the wire and the tube. When ionizing radiation enters the window, the gas inside the tube briefly conducts electricity between the tube and the wire. A magnification effect occurs, amplifying the detection and producing a clicking noise. Higher radiation produces more clicks. Today, Geiger counters have been improved upon by various scientists, and they are an invaluable tool for engineers, private citizens, and prospectors across the planet.